Hey, good morning, everybody. So today, I want to talk a little bit about this. It's not the stage five. It's the mono price stage right. Uh, you've probably seen these things. They're like $115. That includes shipping, and it ships from California, so it gets to you in a couple of days. Um, the suspicion has always been this is too inexpensive to be any good. And um, if you compare these things side by side in tone to, for example, the Stage 5, yeah, the Stage 5 sounds better. Stage 5 people, they put a different speaker in, they do some magic sauce with the innards, different tubes, what have you. Uh, if you put it side by side with the vintage amps, yeah, the vintage amps sound better. Um, but I'm not going to do any of that comparison stuff today. When I do fire this thing up, it's just going to be by itself. And you all can make a decision about whether or not you think this is an adequate harmonica amplifier for $115. And when I do play it, I'm going to be recording it on my task cam. So you don't have to worry about the the cell phone sound uh, modulation, whatever you want to call it. It tends to enhance mid-tone values. Anyway, uh, details on this are fairly simple. Uh, I will turn the camera around and show you the, the individual bits and pieces. But let's see what it looks like, and then we'll see what it sounds like, and then you can decide whether or not uh, 115 is too much to pay for a tube amp like this, okay? Okay, so here's what it looks like up close and personal. On off switch, jewel light, see, goes on. Volume, tone knob, a five watt, one watt switch. Uh, presumably the one watt is quieter, although honestly I don't hear a whole lot of difference. And then an input. When I do the sound samples, uh, I'll be playing it both with and without my Behringer vintage delay. Uh, start without so that you can hear the raw tone and then with the delays how I prefer it. I'll be using a Mars in C um, Looking at this thing from the back It does have the Celestion Speaker turns out those are made in England. I found out I thought that they were also Chinese made, but they're not and then, interestingly, it does have an external speaker uh, connection so that you can run this into a cab uh, with whatever you happen to want to run it into. Um, corners are buttressed with these little shiny metal things. Uh, it's pretty heavy. I think it's pretty well built. Um, anyway, let's fire it up and see what it sounds like. So that's what it sounds like. I think it probably sounds good enough to take to the jam or to rehearsals or even gigs and things. I think, honestly, 95% of the people that you're playing for, they wouldn't be able to tell one day from the next if one day you brought this and the next day you brought your Kalamazoo and the day after that you brought your Stage 5. 
Um, now, there's 5% of the people out there that are aficionados and know the differences between tone uh, for the different amps, and they would take you to task. They'd be like, dude, man, where's your Kalamazoo? Um, but for $115, and if you're trying to play on a budget, uh, and, and potentially you could, you know, swap out some of the components yourself if you knew how to use a screwdriver and a soldering iron, um, 115 bucks, free shipping. I think it would be a nice way to start your amp collection. Let's put it that way. Anyway, let me know what you think. Have a good day.